Hi, can everybody hear me? Let me know if you can hear me and let me know if you can see the slide. Great, welcome everyone. We're gonna get started here and today we're gonna talk about how you can make money trading volatility. Right now we're in a market that's very volatile. Point in fact, we gapped up yesterday fairly big, trying to hold, held pretty much into the close. Today, fell hard into the close. And who knows where we'll be tomorrow morning again. This is a volatile market. And so it's important to know how to trade it. And every day you get up and you say, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to look at? You look at specific things to determine directional bias. You have to go long, strong stocks. You have to short, weak stocks. You have to look for the momentum on any given day if you are day trading or if you're doing options, if you're trading the option for one day or two days. Okay, so I think I think this is a market where you can make a lot of money, but you definitely, definitely, definitely have to know what you're doing. And if you don't, you're going to lose. And this is a market that's going to test people's knowledge and test people's ability. If you have any questions as we go along here this evening, you can write it in the room and email me or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype, or YouTube. YouTube is good because I'll have a lot of videos up on YouTube as well. And you can watch me on Fox News and Fox Business Network where I talk about the market. So volatility, again, I clipped this right, right into the close pretty much. This is a, a chart here of the SPY, a daily chart of the SPY. Volatility is, is opportunity if you're an active trader, if you know what to do, okay? So if you know what to do, you're going, you're going to be able to make money. If you don't know what to do, again, you're gonna lose. Now, let's just go back here, just about a two week period, looking here at the market. The market gap down here fell hard. Okay, this is back in the beginning of August. Then it gapped up, then it rallied, then it gapped down, then it fell, then it rallied, then it gapped up, then it rallied over the 50 pair moving average. Then it gapped down, then it fell, then it gapped down, then it fell, then it gapped down, then it rallied, rallied pretty big again over the 50 pair moving average. Then it gapped down, then it rallied, then it fell, 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 then it gapped up, dropped, rallied, gapped up, rallied big, gapped up. Up big. This is Monday, yesterday, held, opened today down a little bit and fell hard into the close. And so you see how the volatility is going to continue. Actually, this volatility has been, looking back here, it's been for three weeks. I'm saying two weeks, but it's really been three weeks because this was really the first week of August. And already here it is now. It's August 20th. Hard to believe. So this is opportunity if you know how to play it. Okay. And again, you have to know what direction to take and what stocks to do it. And what do I do? I look on stocks that are gapping and I take trades based on that. So again, it means money, money if you're active. You have to get in right, you have to get out right, and you have to get the direction right. And volatility also can get you out of a rut. Because if you've been trading and you haven't been making that much money and you haven't been that consistent, this is gonna make you step up your game. You're gonna be forced to do the right thing and to take the right actions, okay? Because if you don't, you're gonna lose, okay? And people, I know in this market, people are gonna do this too. People are gonna tend to hold losers too long. Their trades are gonna be down. They say, oh, well, I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm gonna buy the dip. Oh, so this is, well, this will be okay. And it's gonna hold the support. It's gonna hold the moving average. And in this type of market, just like I showed you with a 50 pair moving average, none of those things are gonna play and gonna be in play because we're in a different time, okay? The time is volatility, okay? And the volatility means that you have to be careful, okay? You must be careful, but to be honest with you, I gotta, I gotta tell you, you gotta be, you should gotta be careful all the time. You have to be careful anytime you trade. You should pick high quality trades. So who makes volatility and why? What I'm looking for is institutional money. I'm looking for institutional money to get the follow through. Traders are the one that make the volatility, not institutions. So if you follow traders, you're going to get smacked around. If you're looking for institutional money, you're going to have better, stronger moves, bigger moves, better follow through. Okay and therefore you're gonna make more money. And that's why you're seeing also the whip, okay? The whip is happening because you have uh, the lack of follow through because you don't have institutions buying back here in the market. You have traders, traders doing it. And as you know, many, many traders lose, okay? So institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. A big flow of money going a certain direction is what moves the market, stocks and creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You want to be in the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and in stocks at all times. It's just the way it is. 
institutional money, move stocks, and that's what you want to look with, and that's what you want to play with, and that is the, strategically, that's what you want with the strategy, okay? So if you want to become successful, whether it's as an active trader or a long-term investor, you have to become a specialist in defining where institutions are buying or selling or shorting, okay? I like to short a lot of times for day trades, but sometimes I will go long. Today we had a long in the day trade room. But what I do is based on advanced technical analysis. I'm reading price action, price action in charts. Comprehending how to redefine and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. Okay, and I'm seeing some people sign in late. If you have questions, you can just type them in the room and I will answer them out loud. Okay, can everybody hear me and see the slide? Anyways, again, volatility can pay you, as I've been saying, but it really, the market can pay you. The market can pay you, it can pay you big time, but you have to understand how to trade it, okay? So I focus on one strategy that allows me to be consistent. And then again, I'm going back to these times right now, back to the volatility. When volatility comes into the market, and again, it's not like this is gonna last forever, it's not, but it's here right now to stay for the period. When it comes in, people tend to do what? They change what they're doing. They flip flop around. They, they don't stay consistent. And again, that's how they lose as well. They say, well, this doesn't work. I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna do this thing. I'm gonna change this thing. I stick on with what I do, whether the market is volatile, whether it's not volatile, whether it's acting like an angel, which the market did pretty much from January 1st up until the end of April, I do the same thing all the time. Boom, 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 boom. I do the same strategy, I look for gaps, I have a system in the morning in the pre-market where I will rate the gap and determine which direction to take it based on the rating system. I do not deviate from that whatsoever at all. So my system is based on a point system. It's a checklist. And I call it golden gaps because it's like finding gold in the market. Now I'm gonna talk here about what a gap is for those of you that don't know. What is a gap? A stock gap from the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Simple. So we're gonna talk here, this is a chart from last week from the market. What is a gap? A gap is a difference between the close and the open. So the market closed here at four o'clock. The market always closes at four o'clock Eastern time. Market closed here at four o'clock gap down open lower at 9 30 a.m the following morning so closed here gap down so this is a gap down so it closed at one price here around 292 and change and opened at a different price around 287 and change open lower what's a gap up over here this closed here around 288 and change and gapped up and open around 289 and change this was back here the first week of august okay so this is a gap up so stocks in the market can gap up they can gap down but it's a difference between the close and the open, okay? That's all that a gap is, but you have to learn how to play it. You have to learn how to find and spot the directional bias. The directional bias is taking the direction, whatever trade you do. I don't care if it's an option, if you're buying a call, if you're buying a put, if you're shorting a stock, if you're going long a stock, whatever you're doing, you're doing it, you have to pinpoint the direction correctly, or guess what? You're going to lose, okay? So how do you find golden gaps? I have a rating system, I have a checklist, that's how I find them, find them okay? So it tells me look to, what to look for in the price of the stock. Today we did HD, Home Depot. Home Depot was a gap up. I'm gonna go over this train here for the equity train in the room. I called an option in it and I called the day trade in it. So whether you do options using my system or whether you do day trades, it's neither here nor there, it can work for both. There's pluses and minuses to doing equity trades and options. It depends what type of account you have and it also depends how much time, how much time you have available in your life. Any questions here so far? Everybody good? But there's only one thing, and you need to know this, that can move a stock in a big, big way, like the Home Depot trade, which we're gonna talk about. It's power, power, which is money. Money, big, 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 big money. Not a little bit of money. We don't trade low flow stocks, they're junk. They're not traded by hedge funds or big banks. Well, I'm talking about institutional money as hedge funds, big banks, big traders. They move stocks, they move the market, okay? They create the gaps themselves that I'm looking to trade, whatever, whatever gap, whatever stock I'm looking to trade. So gaps happen in the market on a regular basis, pretty much every day. Every once in a while we don't have a trade, but most of the days of the year we do. 
However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. The most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do and when a change is occurring. That is how you know when the power of money will flow to pay you. Okay? Any questions so far? Any questions? So I'm using a 26-point checklist when I take the trades. Okay, I rate the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more, I will do it. If it does not, I don't do it or I don't do anything at all because I don't feel a high level of conviction that I'm going to make money if the gap doesn't rate high. Therefore, I can't predict with a high level of conviction what direction that the stock will move. It's about percentages. So trading, nothing is 100% in the market. It's about putting the odds in your favor. All right high odds that a stock is going to go correctly if it rates well per my system. Low odds, it's not going to work at all or lose if it does not rate well. That's how I look at trading. And you have to have that concept and you've got to grasp it and you have to accept it and you have to be okay with it. You have to understand the market is not black and white. It's a gray area. You have to live in the gray area where you're understandably okay with the fact that some trades will not work. Some trades will be losses. But overall, you should have way, 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 way more winners than you have losses. Okay? Any questions here so far? So I'm just telling you this to wrap your brain around it. And that's one of the reasons that we use stops in the day trades and one of the reasons where you have to have a set risk in your options trades because some trades will not work. Okay? But overall, you should have more winners than losers, which I do. And again, that's part of the consistency. That's part of the consistency in the system, which is following the system and not making it up and not changing what you're doing when the market conditions change. And luckily, my system works in a bullish market, a bearish market, a volatile market, because I'm looking specifically at the gap, at the gap itself. I don't need the market for my trades to work. And point in fact, HD today rallied, rallied was along, and the market fell. Okay, so when I'm looking for something, I'm looking at the gap, I'm looking at the rating system, I'm looking at the individual stock itself, or the market, if I'm trading the market, if I'm playing the market specifically, I'm looking at that itself and not even worrying, worrying what the market is doing. And that also is very beneficial too, because then I don't have to be stressed out about looking at the market every second. Now, I do like to look at the market and I do look at the market and I talk about the market on TV. And sometimes if I'm in a short and the market's falling, maybe I'll hold a little bit longer if the market's running red or in the opposite, if the market's rallying and I'm in a long, maybe I'll hold it to a bigger target if I've got the market with me, okay? Any questions here so far? But really it's about who's in charge when you're looking at the volatility, you've got to make sure you know who's in charge. Is it the bulls? Is it the bears? Is it the longs? Is it the shorts? Okay, you got to know. And right now, you, I mean, this is just a perfect, perfect example here. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In this period here, back and forth. This market's been in this tight range for this period since the beginning of the month. And really, I thought it was two weeks, but we're into the third week here. Okay. So once you know what to do, it is very easy, easy to make money and you know what to look for. But the problem is how do you get the conviction? How do you find it? How do you spot the money? You can't go with the crowd of day traders that most day traders lose. Most day traders whip around. Most day traders trade and do not have enough money to trade. They trade anyways. People open up account with, with $500 and think they're going to make it. People take classes that cost $500 and they think they're going to learn how to trade. That's just simply ridiculous, okay? Trading is something that takes foresight and effort and skill and knowledge, and it does cost money to pay to learn from someone that knows what they're doing, which is someone like me. You can't go with the crowd of people if you want to be successful. So you either, I say, don't do it at all or do it and put all your effort and energy into it so you can be successful. That doesn't mean eight hours a day, seven days a week. It means for the period that you're trading, for one hour a day or half an hour a day that you are devoted to doing this, that you're taking the positions that you can focus on what you're doing, okay? Any questions from anyone at all? Everybody can see the slide? So we're going to go over two trades from last week. I was off Thursday and, no, I was off Friday. I was off Friday. Uh, so this was, no, was I off Thursday and Friday? Yeah, I was. I don't even remember now. This was the 14th. The 14th, this was KSS. It was a nice short, okay? Dropped on down. This was a gap down. This is a one-minute chart on KSS. Stock closed here. Gap down fell, boom. 
dropped, here was the short. Boom, short it, get the drop. So you see here, this is the open of the market. Market opens here at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Stock closed the night before up here, around 50 and change, boom. Open in the morning here, around 47 and change. Fell. So this is a day trade, okay? I'm looking to get in and I'm looking to get out. I'm looking to get in, I'm looking to get out for the day trades, that's it. So say you risk $500, your goal every day is to make 500. If you risk 1,000, your goal is to make 1,000, okay? And that's what I'm looking at. Any questions so far? For me, my edge is that I can read that one minute chart. That one minute chart goes so quickly. I mean, every bar is just 60 seconds when you think about it. And this can set up and go very, very quickly. You have to know to be watching this stock to get it, to get it right away. And I, and I know that because I'm all prepped and ready in the morning. So I take my time in the morning, figuring out everything I want to do all morning long but then I take the trades quickly, quickly when they set up in the morning. And sometimes I'm out quickly. Sometimes I hold, but sometimes I'm out very quickly. But you have to have an edge in whatever you do. For me, it's looking and spotting and pinpointing directional bias. And that's what really helps me be profitable and call good trades. So we do get gaps that are quality gaps. I'd say of any, during earnings season, we get them pretty much every day. Right now, it's towards the end of earnings season. So it's going to start to slow down a little bit around the Labor Day holiday. But then earnings season will start back up in the fall and it'll be busy trading season then. So there's four quarterly trading seasons a year when stocks report their earnings. And typically, when stocks have earnings, they gap. Now, there are gaps for other reasons. News, stocks can gap with the market. There are sector gaps. Sometimes there's something where the CEO quit or did something or did a tweet, and that can create a gap in the stock as well. So either way, you, I look for gaps every morning for many, many reasons, okay? I do tend to look to the short side first, and then I look at the longs, okay? Just because I like to do shorts mainly for the day trades, and the reason is because stocks tend to sell off faster and quicker and bigger than they tend to rally, with very few exceptions, okay? So this was the daily chart of the KSS. Again, this was on the 14th. This was Wednesday, actually. So the stock closed here, gap down, dropped, fell, okay? So here is the daily chart of KSS. The stock closed here, this was Tuesday night, open here, gap down, okay? Really nice move. And again, we just need a piece of this. You're never gonna get out of a short at the low. You're never gonna get out of the long at the high. That's not your goal in life. Your goal is just to make money. Make money, make money, make money, make money, okay? Make sure you pick the right stock. Okay, we did in this. Again, here was the setup. Boom, boom. Take it, get out. Take it, get out. Nice trade. Okay, this is an equity trade. So the entry was 46.59, boom, short. A size, and again, this is an advanced size. You don't have to take this many shares. You can take less shares. 2,000 shares, exit, 45.65, boom. And you're out and again this is about a buck and that's a good move for a stock at this price point so no matter what size you would have taken here you would have made almost almost a dollar and anything that you would have taken so 2,000 shares was 1880 really nice move any questions and again if you take the Golden Gap course you are eligible to join the live trading room and I am calling these trades live I'm calling the entry, I'm calling the stop, I'm calling the exit, I'm calling it all live. In the minutes that this is happening here, which is basically from 9.35, boom, in 10 minutes, I'm calling it like this. So it's very easy to follow me if you're in the room, okay? You have the chart up, you know what we're watching, I put the top watches in the room. If you want a trial to the room, for the rest of this week, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com and I will send you a trial. Any questions from anyone here so far? Okay. So anyways, M was that same day. Another gap down. Here was the close, four o'clock, Tuesday night, around 19 and change, boom. Open in the morning, around 16 and change, open, drop, fell, boom. Okay, this is Macy's. 
Nice move in this, dropped, boom, short it, get the drop, out. This is all you need, all you need for your whole life long. You don't have to have 25 trades a day, you don't have to trade all day between 9.30 and 4, you don't even have to trade till noon every day, okay? All you need is the move, boom, 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 just like KSS. So enter with 16.15, 4,000 shares, exit, 1589, boom, 1,000 bucks, 1,040. Again, less than 30 minutes. So this is what day trading to me is all about. Take it, get out, take it, get out, chunk it out, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. You gotta remember, day trading is not long-term investing. It's not buying and holding forever or shorting it and holding forever. You've gotta get the move. And whether you do options or whether you do day trades, your objective is to make money. And I'm going back to the volatility in the market. If you wanna hold forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, whether you're in an option or whether you're in a day trade, you may get hurt. You may be up a lot and then completely down a lot. You have to take your profits. This is like common sense, but I feel the need to remind people because of the fact that a lot of people just think things are gonna continue forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and that's not the case. Okay, that's just not, not the case. And I think a lot of people felt that way about the market. The market was in a position where, and I'm talking about, like I said, the way the market rallied from January through April for four straight months, the market was very strong. After the drop off in December, we flipped around and rallied towards the end of last year and then took it into the year, into the new year. I think a lot of people just assumed that the market would continue making new highs literally every week and every month. That, that was not gonna last forever. We're still in an uptrend of the market, but you have to take profits. You must take profits, even in stocks that are strong, okay? Any questions here from anyone? And if anybody wants me to look at anything tonight, I will. I can pull up the market here when, I, when we're done. Anyways, my system predicts moves in stocks. This was a nice email from one of the options newsletter subscribers. It was a trade from a while back in Tesla. Um, it does seem like I have a crystal ball, but it's really just the checklist. And that's what I teach in the class, which you can come and learn from me this weekend. It's the checklist is the crystal ball. It's what's pinpointing that I know something's going to happen. I know this is gonna happen. If this happens, then this. If this, then that. And that's really how I look at it. It's like, I don't, I don't know, you know exactly where something's gonna gap. Like I didn't know HD was gonna gap up, but I had a feeling, but I waited until it did. And I knew if it did go to a certain number that it was gonna be a good long and it did it and we did it and that was the end of it. So it's like, I, I thought that it would, but I didn't call any trades in it. I didn't do anything in it until you wait to see. And then you let it gap. And then when it gaps, you know, well, if it does this, then it's this. If it does this, then it's that. If it does this, it's a long. If it does this, it's a short. And that is what I know. And that's what you come and you learn from me so you know how to trade it, so you know how to take the trade, okay? But anyways, earning power and knowing how to earn money from the market is extremely important. It's more important than even having a lot of cash just to trade because if you had a lot of cash to trade, you'd lose it all. If you don't know what you're doing, you can take a small amount of money. People always say, oh, I don't have enough money, or I wish I had more money, or I'll trade when I have more money, and I don't have enough money, and I'm saving the money. Saving the money is good, but the fact is learning is, is, is more important because if you had a small account and you knew what to do and you were focused on learning, you can grow that account. Whereas if you have 100 grand, you'll lose it all if you don't know what to do, okay? I had a person I talked to, he hasn't signed up for the class or any programs yet, hasn't signed up for the newsletter yet at all. Been following me for years, trading on his own and he's losing, he lost $80,000 last year. I guess he just wants to keep losing. And the problem is when you get yourself in a position like that, that you're digging yourself a hole and you're digging yourself a hole, you're never gonna dig yourself out of it alone. You gotta get support from someone that knows what they're doing to help you dig yourself out of it if you're in a hole. Trading is one of those things where, for me at this point now, it's easy, but I've been doing this for almost 12 years and I have a skill set, it's a skill. You come, you wanna take my class this weekend, you're gonna learn the skill. You will develop a skill, like juggling, like playing tennis, like any skill that you would have. Until you develop that skill, you're gonna struggle, okay? And, with that, and what I've found from talking to many, many people over the you know eight years I've had the business is a lot of people do not take the time to develop that skill they don't understand they need that skill. They think that they can do it without the skill and the skill is important. Until you learn the skill, you mimic the trades that I call in the room. But the, doing that 
doing that helps you develop the skill. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because your, your actions, you're doing it. You're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. And then you go back and you review the trades and say, well, how, what did I do with this KSS? And did I do this right? Or did I make a mistake? Or should I have gotten out here? Or did I do what she said? And you learn that way, okay? I see Kathy put a bunch of information in the room. Any questions tonight, you can email me at melissathestockswoosh.com or if you want a trial for the week. Anyways, this was the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gap up in HD this morning. Okay, the stock reported you had earnings. Stock closed here, gapped up. I had a feeling, again, this would gap up, but I waited. Anyways, here it was. Boom, and it went. Beautiful mew, beautiful rally. Okay, in fact, I didn't go back and look and see here exactly where this closed at 4 o'clock, but it was a nice move up. So the entry for the day trade, and I call it an options too, but the day trade was 213.45. Stop was big, wide. Again, this is expensive. 211.50, 1,300 shares, exit 216.47, profit 3,926 bucks. Some people don't make that in a whole week, let alone one trade, and let alone a quick trade. A fast, quick trade, okay? Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on, I forgot to put up the one minute. Here, let me just pull it up here, my charts, one second, because I forgot to pull it up. Hold on one second. Ah, da, 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 da. That looks, looks good. All right, HD. Can everyone see the chart? So this was back, back in the morning. Sorry, I forgot to clip the one minute, but this was the train. Actually, exit of this was a little bit early, but I just, it was, it was so whippy, whippy, whippy. It, it, this actually had a bigger pop. So anyways, boom. Called it, did it. Boop, got out here. And then it had one more, look at that. So actually, it went all the way up to two seven. It actually went another dollar, which is hilarious. But again, your goal in life is not to get out at the high, because it's impossible. It's impossible. And I really felt 218 was the real target in this today for the day trade. I don't think it got to 218 for the day trade. Let me see, it got pretty close. I got pretty close, 217.83. Nope, it never got there. See? So anyways, reality is, nope, it never did get there. Look at that, 217.83 was a high. But anyways, this went, this went a dollar through that number. So you could have held it even a little bit longer, but it was still a beautiful, beautiful trade. Everyone see this? So this is, again, take it, get out, take it, get out, boom, boom. And again, time period here, this is the open, here's 10 o'clock, this is what the period that we're looking. But again, sometimes we're in and out in 10 minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes. Here it was, doom, doom, right in there. So I'm very good at doing that. Any questions? Uh, what was tonight? There was something tonight I wanted to look at to see. I forget. Um, all right. Any other questions from anyone else? Quiet group tonight. So if you're thinking about trading for a living, this is a good way to start because you see gaps on a regular basis. Okay. This is a high winning strategy. And it's, it's, I think it's important to follow a mentor, especially if you're not doing well especially if you're new, especially if you don't understand gaps or you just don't have a strategy and you lack a strategy. And I think a lot of people uh, think that they have a strategy and they really don't. They don't know what a strategy is. But for me, it's focusing on that time period that I prep in the morning and then I look for a setups into the open at a set, up, a set time. And that time helps me take the setups and then exit the setups, okay? And I'm looking at all that. And as I said, I don't, I don't need the market for my trades, but sometimes I get the help, the help of the market, which is nice. One of the benefits of day trading as well is you can do it from home. Even if you do options, you can do it from home. Now, I do have a lot of people in the newsletter, for the options newsletter, though, who have other jobs or businesses, and they are, they are not home. They're at work and stuff. And they look at the trades and see what's going on and watch them while they're at their office. If that works for you too, fine. If you can trade in the morning in the room, fine. 
if you can if you can get at your desk between 9 30 and 10 that's the optimal time again this is eastern time because i live in new york that's the optimal time to do the active day trades like i just showed you with the hd but i did call an option in hd a call which you could have done and then watched and really got out at any point in the day or you could still even be in it but i think the most important thing for people in this volatile market is to take profits book profits book profits book profits you know, you, you, the worst thing you can do is have $2,000 in profit and then not have the $2,000 in profit the next day and then be down $2,000. I mean, that, that can weigh on you, not just your account, but mentally and emotionally, okay? And I think that's part of what you're seeing here in the volatility in the market. People are lacking conviction. They they're, they're want to hold, they hold, and then they lose, and then they kill it then they change their mind again you know what i'm saying and they're flip-flopping around but in my course the golden gap course it will teach you a 26 point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day and that's the ticket the course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day the course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level which is based on the stock gapping okay because that's really how i call all of the trades Every trade that I do, everything, everything at all is based on my gap rating system. So in the Golden Gap course, you will learn one solid strategy to trade gaps effectively by reading the side of power and charts. You will learn how to read support and resistance to take positions in the right direction. You will read a more proficient and advanced way to read charts focusing on technical analysis in gaps. And you will learn how to get conviction in your trading and the market as a source of wealth by trading with the side of power for consistent profit. Okay. Any questions by anyone at all in here? I see Wally in here. Wally's on the options letter. Did you do HD today? Some nice calls today in that letter. Besides HD, when you when you are trading, okay, you you have to think about it as income generation. Again, you're not Warren Buffett. You're not a long term investor. You're chunking it out. Chunk it. Chunk it. Chunk it. And when you, you, when you take the amount of money, whatever that amount of money is that you have that you're risking in a trade, if it's $2,000, for example, you, you, need that two th you need to book the money and then you need the money back for the cost that it took you to take the trade in the first place. And you'll use it to take another trade, okay? So you're putting it in and you're taking it out and you're putting it in and you're taking it out. And you have to think of it like that day after day. No one day should be the be all end all of your trading. Okay, you should be able to look at each day in its own accord and to continue on with the consistency. And for me, it's about the conviction. So I make the calls based on conviction. I have a high level of conviction, probably because I created my own system myself, probably because I'm doing it a long time, probably because, you know, I've, I've got a sixth sense a lot of times about what I'm seeing because it's just part of me now. I do go through the process, though. I do the work. I do the worksheets. I read everything I go through and I still go through it. But I do have definitely a sixth sense now when I read stuff that I can see things right away is very quickly. And that's the benefit of being in the trading room with me when I do the calls. I can see right away if something's gonna work or if something's not gonna work, okay? And I might have a watch list of maybe five, six, seven things in the morning and then I try to narrow it down to one or two because sometimes we'll look at one and if that one doesn't set up, then we'll flip around and we'll do the second one, okay? But every once in a while, there will be a day, if it's a busy day, like last Wednesday, where we're all called two things at the same time, and that was the main season, the KSS, and, and busy season, and busy season, sometimes we do that, okay? I say it's very important to learn. You're empowering yourself to do it. Once you have the knowledge, then no one can take it away from you. No one can take it away from you, and then you gain the confidence in yourself. Traders have a lack of confidence in their self. My God, they're so, traders are so insecure. I've talked to so many people, like I said, since the eight years I've had the business. I mean, people just are all over the place in their head. Once you get to that point, you gotta rein yourself in. If you go to that negative thought process where you start to become so insecure about your choices and your decisions making, I'm telling you, it's a dark hole and it'll suck you in like a black hole and it's hard to pull yourself back. That's the importance of being in the benefit of following me in the trading room and being in there to help you with the confidence, to help you with the conviction, okay? And that's the importance of having a mentor as well. Any questions from anyone about anything? This was a nice testimonial I have from someone. Quiet, 
group tonight. So I'm teaching a class this weekend. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Class is August 24th and 25th. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. There's a one-hour break for lunch. Okay. Cost of the class is $64.99. I'm doing the combo. You can take the Golden Gap Saturday, Sunday, trends on Monday, and you save $500. So you get all two classes, three days at $69.99. Email me at Melissa at the stock swoosh.com if you want to sign up for that. And if you sign up for this class this weekend by Friday, midnight's a deadline, then you will get the Gap Options newsletter free for one year. The deadline for that is the 23rd. Now, if you're just interested in the letter separate, you can just sign up for the newsletter separate for the options newsletter. It's $59.99 a year. You must do the Golden Gap course, though, to join the live trading room. Okay, you can't enter the room without the class. You can sign up for the newsletter without doing the class. And this, again, is just a newsletter where you get the trades emailed to you. You take the trades when you get them. HD was a call this morning. I also called Netflix, too. I called to put a Netflix, and that was a nice move. You could have got out of that today, or if you could have got out of a piece of it today, or you could be in still some of it. Netflix definitely looks slower. Now, I'm going to quickly pull up here just to see what's out for tonight. And if anybody has any questions, we have a few minutes here that looks like I can pull up some things here to see what's happening right now. I know the market's falling after hours, and I the only thing I could find really to see the market falling after hours, well, it was late, late in the afternoon, was because Trump did a press conference talking about uh, something like he doesn't want to make a deal with China and the Fed has to lower rates a point or something like that. Well, let me just look here. Tesla sued by Walmart. All right, I'm going to look up that. But any questions? Let me look here at the market. Oh, Cree, Lazy Boy, Urban. Let's see. A couple things out here tonight. So these things right now, it's 5.16 Eastern time. Let's see if anything's gapping. I know the market is. We'll look at that in a second. But this had earnings. Let's see if it's moving. Ah, it's moving a little bit. So this one, ooh, this is not really moving that much. So you see here, the stock closed here at 20.94, and it's at 20.69. So it's a little tiny gapper. It's down a little bit. This is urban. That may look different in the morning. I'll go look at that later. Here's toll. Tall brother said earnings tonight too. Let's see if what this is doing. Let's just see here. Oh my Atlanta, this isn't doing much either. <gasps> this closed at thirty six ninety five, and this is only down twenty five cents too. Wow, the best thing looks like the market. It definitely looks like the market. Okay, so here's the market. Well, actually, we fell here into the close. Let me just blow this up. Um, so you see this here. This is a this was a solid drop off here in the market into the close, and we closed here at one eighty six ninety nine. Where are we now? Between sixty two and seventy four. Does everybody see this? So we're down. We're falling into ourselves into the after hours. Like if this was the morning tomorrow, we'd be gapping down. I called a very 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 late trade. But you can take market trades, I think, 10 minutes after the close in ETFs um, and options. And I saw this. I saw this happening and went poop. So this is the SPY, and this is working, and this is good. And this looks like it's going to be gapping down tomorrow morning, too. So the SPY closed at 290.05, and it's down 65 points from here, or 65 cents. So this is falling tonight as we speak. This is a SPY. And this I called in the options newsletter, too, today. And this worked, and I called this a little way earlier. And this is a nice trade. Wally, are you there? Did you do the diamonds today? This is a nice call. Wally, are you alive? Wally's on the letter, but he's not talking. Does anyone have any questions about, oh, there's Wally. Did you do the diamonds today? I called puts in the diamonds. Did you do it? Wally's new. He's just learning. Does anyone have any questions about anything whatsoever at all? While he's still learning, that's okay. Did you do it though, Wally? Or you're just watching the trades? Are you just tracking them or are you doing them? 
You just watch this one. Oh, Wally. Wally didn't do it. He watched it. Well, that's okay. It's interesting because, um, so you didn't do HD either then, Wally? You didn't do this either? Again, it gets back to the confidence. It gets back to the conviction. Whatever, whatever you need to do to get yourself in the conviction train. If tracking them helps you get in the conviction train, then that's what you got to do. Whatever helps you get the confidence, because the confidence is important. But I do think it's perfectly fine to start out small. You can do one contract. You can do two contracts. You can do a little size to start out. Test the waters for yourself. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Does anyone have any questions about anything, really? Quiet group tonight. I see some new people here. So it, it's a very, we're in interesting times. Uh, again, markets started falling, I think, around the time that Trump did that press conference. It was around 315 or whatever. And let's just look exactly here when we started to sell off. It, well, actually, gosh, I thought that press conference was like at 315. But looks here, we only started selling off really around 345. 345 here is when we started to really sell off literally into the close. I don't know how long that press conference went on. But, you know, I, I believe that that's what created this kind of sell-off in here when he was talking. And, and that's one of the things, too. I mean, one tweet, one anything, any news about China can create a huge reaction in the markets. And that is the volatility. The volatility we're seeing, the volatility we're going to continue to see, but it makes for good moves for traders. So the diamonds puts I had called and the Netflix puts I had called way early before, before this sell-off. And the spy was late. So all of these worked. And HD was a long that worked opposite the market. So, you know, this was good too. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I have no idea. I do know there's a lot of stuff out this week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's a lot of stuff out. A lot of retailers out. Again, toll was tonight. You're going to have the builders moving as well tomorrow. Some of these things is just too early to see where they're going to go, what they're going to do. And they're not moving that much right now, but they could look very different in the morning. So that's why I wait until the morning. But you can rate stuff at night. If you're in a different time zone that you want to do the work at homework at night, then do you do it at night, do the rating at night. But I'd still double check it in the morning. That may work better for you if you're uh, you know, ahead, if it's specific time for you, okay? You could do the work at night and go to bed, sleep in a little bit. For me, I'm Eastern time zone, same time as the market. I like to go to bed early, get up early, get ready early, see what's happening. This is definitely gapping down here though. There it is at 3651. Wally, it looks like you're typing something that's stuck. Any questions from anyone? New people, old people? Uh, is that Joanna? Joanna, you've got to get back to in the options letter. You've been gone for a while. Joanna's an old student, if that's Joe. Been a good year. It's important to learn. It's important to think what you're doing. It's important to think about risk. Just look at Disney. Disney gap down today. I saw this too, but then rally. There really wasn't anything here with this Disney. I think this is just very strong still at this point overall on the chart. Listen, it's been a great year. I think these are exciting times to trade in. Again, if you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna lose, but I mean, that's the case in any given year. <laughs> I mean, I can, it's no different in 2019 than in 2018, 2017. If you don't know how to trade, you're going to lose. What, it doesn't matter the year. It doesn't matter who's president. It doesn't matter that we live in Twitter world now. I mean, the way that the world is so interconnected from country to country with social media, anything can happen on a dime. I mean, I don't know if those of you that were trading or noticed, this was, gosh, was it two months ago or six, seven weeks ago? I don't know. When the market fell after hours, like at 8 o'clock at night, because when they were putting the tariffs on Mexico, market collapsed. I happened to be sitting at my desk at the computer watching it at the moment. I was like, what on earth happened? I saw it, saw it in the charts at eight o'clock at night when I was sitting here at like seven something, 7.45 I think it was, I forget the date. And it was when Trump tweeted about the Mexico tariffs. 
we, we just live in a world where anything can happen on a dime. But if you know how to react quickly, it's opportunity. It's opportunity. The volatility is opportunity for you as a human being to make money if you know what to do. Of course, you have to have a trading account. You have to have a trading account. And again, it doesn't matter if you do the equity trades or the options. Either way, it's just a different way to make money, but it's using the same system, the same strategy, playing the gap, playing it, playing it when it's good, playing it when it rates high, and playing it in the right direction. Let me look at the BYND. Haven't looked at that for a while. Nothing here. Listen, thanks so much for coming, everyone. Here's my email. If you want a trial to the trading room. Actually, Wally, do you want a trial to the trading room? You came tonight. Melissa at the stockswoosh.com. If you want a trial Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, email me, okay? If you're interested in the class this weekend, email me. I do think it's important to know what to do before you trade. And I'm just, I'm like on my game. I mean, everyone's doing great. I mean, it's just like, people just get up now and expect me to like call everything perfectly, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> I don't know, some people do well under pressure, some people cave. For me, I tend to do better, I don't know. I think that's why I do well on TV as, to TV as well. <laughs> When the pressure's on, I tend to succeed more. <laughs> Any questions from anyone? I can't wait till we see to go where we go. I cannot wait till we see where we open in the morning. I don't know. But I know right, ooh, this is an invisible tick that's happening right now in the market. Ooh, that's an invisible tick up. Wow. Um, thank you, Kathy. While you're typing, is stuck again. Thank you, Wally. Excellent presentation. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. Have a great day tomorrow. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class this weekend, email me. If you want to trial, email me. Have a fabulous evening and a good night's sleep. And I will see you later. Very good. Thank you.